there, Taurus. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Taurus. I am going to trust if this reading comes across your screen. You are meant to see it. I hope you all are doing well. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I really, really uh, appreciate you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email. We can talk about that. Just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Taurus. Anywhere in your chart or if you're just checking in on a Taurus, everyone is welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. Welcome, welcome, Taurus. What is going on? Let's get you a moon oracle card. I'm a Taurus sun, and so when and I watch Taurus videos all day long. <laughs> I have a lot of things in Taurus. But um, I love the subtitles because it always says Taurus, right? Taurus, if you're a tourist. <laughs> All right, Moon Oracle card for the sign of Taurus. Ooh, a couple wanted to come out. Believe in the impossible, look at the bigger picture, and don't let pride get in your way. Wow, 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 Taurus. <clears throat> big, big transformation in believing in the impossible it's like you've had this belief or this idea or this dream for so long that it's just filled with doubt it's filled with insecurity and impossibilities here so you're starting to let some of that go and letting these new ideas come in these new dreams these new realities come in don't let pride get in your way i'm wondering what that's about we're going to get a little bit deeper into that to see if you have your back up against the wall are you defending something here I want to see about that. A new start is coming. The new moon. Wow. Look at this. A brand new beginning for you. Brand new day. Uh, but just new. Just so much new things for you. You're stepping into this brand new identity or this brand new way to be. It's time to release negativity. The full moon in Scorpio. God, that is great advice for the world. <laughs> Let's release this negativity, please. <laughs> at least this doomsday stuff. Let's release that. All right, animal spirit guide. Animal spirit guide for up in the ether for Taurus. The firefly, very, very busy. And the peacock, this has to do with your confidence. Whew, such a fine line between confidence and pride, right? Confidence and uh, cockiness and, and confidence here. But very, very busy, very busy. A lot to do with your self-esteem, too. There's another big difference between confidence and self-esteem, really believing in yourself. I think this has to do with those fizzling out dreams or those uh, ways you were going to be or, or places you were going to be at this point here. You had this idea of where your life was going. Maybe that's it. And you're letting that go. Dragonfly transformation. Transformation is here at your doorstep. All right, let's get a Zen tarot card for up in the ether. For the sign of Taurus, look at the adventure on the bottom of the deck. I love that. The outsider, feeling like the outsider looking in. Or, uh, yeah, again, it's like you're looking in on those dreams. You're looking in on those things that you wanted to have or you wanted to be. And it just feels like it's stale now. It's just, it's you wanted it for so long. It's just grown stale. You don't even want it anymore. And maybe that's, maybe you don't want to let it go. Maybe you've worked so hard for it. It just feels too hard to let it go or to say goodbye. Projections, past lives, totality, turning in. God, look at these hard uh, energy cards here with the outsider and turning in. What's here? The creator and sorrow. Good God, Taurus. Good God, it's just like you're running the gambit of emotions here. You've got all this fire, all this um, wanting to get going, but there's still some things that have to be cleaned up or talked about or communicated about here because you're still not feeling part of the club. You're not feeling part of it. You're not feeling included in this yet. So maybe you're feeling like a novice or you don't know everything yet. You're just starting out in something. Even if you've been doing it a while, it feels new. Maybe it's ever changing. It's like technology, right? You can never get a grip on it. <laughs> I'm still learning DOS. <laughs> Projections though, back and forth, back and forth. There's this resentment there or this um, blame game going on here. And I think that's why pride is coming up here. 
some kind of blame game going on. This has been the game for quite some time with past lives here. It's been the game. This is how we do it. This is what we do is we uh, shift, shift the responsibility. And, and uh, you're starting to take accountability. You're starting to take ownership. Even in those moments where it was clearly, clearly out of your control, uh, you're understanding that. Well, it was out of my control. It, that that had nothing to do with me. So you're you're taking accountability for the way you reacted in that moment, but you're not taking accountability for the action in the first place. That just had nothing to do with you. But it did have to do with you as your reaction. So you're changing. You're really, really changing it up the way you react to situations, to people, to things here. But you've got a lot going on in the mind space, Taurus. A lot going on. There's just this massive change afloat here. Uh, so you're really going deep into things. You're looking deeply at your life here, your decisions here. It's like people are judging you on your decisions, but they weren't in on those choices, were they? They didn't know uh, the choices that were presented to you in the moment. All right. Let's see at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> There's that adventure again. It's not going away. It's at your doorstep. It's calling you. Some kind of adventure coming up for you. I'm also seeing beyond illusion, compromise, and the burden here with intensity just starting to get going here. There's some kind of momentum that's just starting to get going for you here. Compromise is definitely being asked of you with uh, compromise showing up here and projections here. There's just this, do you need to get your point across? Do you need to be right in that moment? Do you need to convince them uh, of your story? Is it that important, whoever you're interacting with right now, to convince them of your story or how you're feeling or that you feel the way you feel? Are you justifying your feelings to them uh, for understanding or are you justifying your feelings to them because you think um, you need to justify it to yourself? Are you really just projecting? Are you really just trying to justify why you feel the way you feel? And maybe it's time to go deep, deep into the way you feel here. Uh, to stop the projections. Let's see. Let's get some tarot cards here. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on in the mind space for Taurus. Spirit, can we get some cards in the mind space for Taurus? What is Taurus thinking about? What are you thinking about Taurus? What is on your mind? Oh my God, the wheel of fortune. Something is brand new here. The wheel of fortune has turned in your favor after a very long uh, haul here, seven years minimum of this really, really intensive work, this really intense work, this getting down to the nitty gritty of it and focusing on your money, focusing on your finances, focusing on your future here changed everything. It's just really that wheel was rusted. It had some old dreams attached to it, old ideas of what you wanted to do. And finally, it just broke free. It got rid of that kink. It got rid of that uh, stoppage, that blockage point, because you got rid of that dream. It's just like when you're young and you're going to be a fireman or you're going to be a uh, a superstar, you're going to be a celebrity, right? And then you start to move into your life, move into the real purpose of your life. And you start understanding, okay, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. I'm not meant to be, you know, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I don't even know if I want uh, to go into entertainment, right? You just start changing You just start changing it up as you move toward you. You don't have any other experiences besides the television or what you're seeing in front of you. So of course, those are your dreams and your aspirations. But when we know more, we do more, we, we, uh, expand we expand so that's what's happened here but you've really been focused it's like you've had these blinders on for probably seven years oh look at this with the hanged man probably 12 years this could go back to taurus being in uranus here um 16 what is it 16 years here i think so i think so and boy have i felt that i have felt that harsh energy of uh, that resistance that two steps forward um, six steps back. It was so unfair. The energy, so unfair to the Taurus energy, but it was all for preparation, all to lead you to this moment. Today is the tomorrow that you were so worried about yesterday, right? That years ago, 10 years ago, you couldn't get your head out of it. It's like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Where am I going to be? What? 
and here it is. Here it is today, and you're doing great. You're doing better than you had possibly imagined because you've expanded, you've grown, and energy changes so very quickly. Quickly, I mean, just at the drop of a hat, the energy can change. You hearing this reading and some kind of seed getting planted within you changes your whole future outlook here because I've said something that had not been thought about by you yet. So there's these seeds that are planted in our daily lives, not just card for eating seeds, even though I, I love them. They're, they're wonderful to plant seeds. Um, but they get planted at the grocery store. They get planted every interaction that we have because that's Spirit's way of getting through to us to get these messages to us. So it's been a minute, Taurus. It's been a minute. What else in the mind space for Taurus? What else for Taurus? King of Pentacles, there you are. It is time to reap the rewards of this very, very hard work, Taurus. It is time. It is time to reap the rewards. You've put your heart and your mind and your soul into this, into uh, the betterment of you here. So how could it not possibly be the outcome that you're a better person today than you were yesterday because you're continuously working on yourself? But it's time. It's time to get rich. It's time to get wealthy here. It's time to really, really reap the rewards now. Be that king of pentacles. Have your money working for you. What else? Eight of Cups, time to walk away from those dreams. There's those, there's those ideas, those, uh, that image of who we thought we were going to be at this time. And you're just letting it go. You're just walking away. All it does is make you feel like a failure when you look back on it because it was unachievable. It was unobtainable. It was just a distraction uh, to keep you going, to keep you going so that you could hear these messages, these seeds that were being planted uh, within your daily life here. So... It's just a distraction. We all need distraction. Distraction is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Whew. All right, Taurus, what is in the heart space? What are you feeling? What is Taurus feeling? There's that adventure, the Knight of Wands. Where are you going that feels so new and unfamiliar and uh, just uncharted territory for you? <coughs> you're, <coughs> you're propelling into this different version of yourself. <laughs> It's very unfamiliar. You're not even sure how how to be this person quite yet because you're being propelled into uh, this position. You're holding title with spirit that you've been working for for at least seven years. But for you, you were going for something else. It's really, really interesting. It's really interesting. It's like, um, you know, I was a writer. I wrote. I have six full-length novels I've written. I have a ton of short novellas and things that I've been writing over the years since I was a little girl. I've been journaling and writing. And, uh, you know, now I read cards. I've always had tarot card uh, tarot cards around me and I've always read tarot cards, but they didn't start speaking to me until I was in my 40s. I'll tell you that. You need some time to really, really start understanding uh, what some of these big karmic lessons are. But anyway, the writing, the writing, I was observing everybody in my life. I was absorbing what they were saying so that I could gather characteristics. I could gather sayings. I could gather all this information so I could go home at night and write all night and infuse these quirkinesses, infuse these conversations into my books here. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. Look at this with the magician as we're talking about creating and writing. Uh, but it was all leading me to storytelling, to storytelling. The cards, the tarot cards is nothing but storytelling. I am seeing a story unfolding here of a person who had these grand dreams and desires of doing something, of being a novelist, of being known for the books, for the writing of it. And then just using that was the distraction to move right into the real life purpose, to do the healing, to do the Reiki, to do the tarot card readings, to do the mediumship. Uh, sessions here. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful Taurus. <laughs> All right, what else in the heart space for Taurus? Nine of Pentacles. It is time to bring in the money now. Look at all these Pentacles now with the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> Show me the money now. Show me the money now. The proof is in the pie now. The proof is in the pudding. I need to see uh, the money coming in now. And it is. It is. Your bank account's getting 
fatter and fatter. You're managing money. You're dealing with much more money today than you were or you could have possibly imagined here. So you've been conditioned for this. You've been prepared for this to have the money coming in and out, the ease and flow of money. There's no trapments of it. There's no uh, too much where you're just so afraid it's all going to be taken from you and there's not too little where you're just so afraid you're not going to have a place to live here. So uh, it's just the ease and flow of it, the in and out of it, the yin and the yang of it. Money is energy. So <clears throat> it's absolutely moving in and out of our lives. It's coming in when we need it. It's going out when others need it. We're giving when we need to. We are receiving when we need to. This is the energy you are flowing into now. You're just moving like that lazy river. The Nine of Pentacles is all about laziness. <laughs> right into the pot of gold. <laughs> yes, you have arrived, Taurus. You have arrived. Ooh, what else in the heart space? What else? The partnership, look at this with the two of cups. Partnerships has been very, very challenging because you were getting to know your new self here. You were getting to know this new path, this new way to be here. So it was difficult to open up and really, really be you when you were trying to figure out who that was. But now, now that you're uh, standing in your true authentic light, you're standing in your true purpose, it's very, very easy to connect. You have all kinds of connections coming in. Three of Pentacles, there's the plan for money. These connections are coming in to bring you more money. So they have these ideas, these ways uh, to do that. It's time to listen to them. It's time to really put that pride down that you don't have the way, the only way to do it. There's not only one way to do it. So it's time to ease up, be the water, not the rock in the ocean because um, the water will wear away at the rock. There's so many, it's ever changing. Technology especially is ever changing. So really, really listen. Listen, listen in on these um, young people <laughs> creating because you are a part of that. You are a very much integral part of that. And um, it's, a, it's adapt time now. It's really time to adapt, especially when it comes to technology. So jump in, but don't get too uh, focused on only one way to do it. There's only one way to do it. There's so many ways to do it. So yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. This multiple, another thing the Three of Pentacles is talking to me about right now is multiple streams of income. It's not just this nine to five uh, that you have to be watching your clock all the time. This is multiple streams of income. So if one goes, it's not all your eggs in one basket. If one goes, it means almost nothing to you. Did you ever think you'd see the day, Taurus? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, look at this. A family business, a family business. All heads are better than one here. So calling all family members. Let's do this. Tell me your ideas. It's like Shark Tank, uh, your house every night. Throw me your ideas. Maybe you got the kids in there pitching away here, but... There's a, an idea bank, a, a, a community feel to it. Maybe it's a corporation, maybe it's a company, maybe it's a small mom and pop store, but all ideas are being expressed here. It's like all voices are heard. Tell me what you think. The opinion box is, is out and um, open for suggestions here. So this is beautiful. It's a family business coming together. All heads are better than one and multiple streams of income. It's like, you know, I'm picturing right now is the Partridge family. Maybe you have this family band and you're, uh, come on, everybody, come on, get happy. Maybe you're out singing about everybody getting happy, but the whole family's in on it. You got a uh, little Susie, got the tambourine over here. It's just <laughs> it's so beautiful, but it's very, very much divinely um, uh, timed right now. So those voices had to season. You had to be seasoned. You had to be uh, conditioned for this Taurus. So it was all for purpose. It was all for purpose. But yeah, come on, get happy. Laying down those burdens with the Ten of Wands. All right, let's look at the foundation of this. Let's look at what this is all about. What's this card that just won't go away? The Empress and the Six of Cups, the soulmate energy. There's that family energy, the familial. The familial is very, very strong in this reading. All right, what's in the foundation? Oh, yes, yes, yes. There is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow here. 
Taurus, 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 Eureka, Eureka, you did it. You did a thing. You did a thing. And that thing is being responsible, is making enough money to really, really thrive now, to have that money really working for you and to grow this empire, this massive legacy, this family business that will stand the test of time here. This is so glorious. God, do you deserve this? You so very much deserve this. But yeah, it's the pot of gold. Lucky charms. Just really, really, especially starting out with that wheel of fortune. I mean, yeah, you are on fire right now. Whew, on fire when it comes to the money. Just absolutely. Oh, so many ways to win. So many ways to win. Three of swords. Oh, God. God, it's been hard. It has been test after test after test. Tested your heart, tested your mind, tested your body, tested your soul, tested you in so many ways. But now you're getting rewarded in so many ways. That's why the relationships are coming back together. That's why the apologies are coming in. That's why the family is getting this business up and running. All voices are heard now because there was a time where uh, no one could be heard. No one could be heard. You were just uh, too worried, too worried. You had to figure it out. It had to be you. You were the only one. If you wanted something done right, you had to do it yourself. And so it wasn't um, an option, wasn't an option. Maybe you felt like everyone was out for themselves. And so all the solutions led to them, right? There was a lot of narcissist energy where we couldn't really express uh, ideas or opinions without just slam in your face, just bam, shutting you down because you had the audacity. <laughs> How dare you, sir, right? It was just so... Uh, indignant, just so righteous in your face. And now that's really easing up. Uh, but it pushed you. It pushed you. It's in spite of that energy that you are thriving through these times. You know, there were millionaires created during the depression, right? It's just when, what Warren Buffett says, when everybody's uh, selling, he's buying. And that's what you're doing. You're buying. You're betting on yourself now. And that's always a safe bet. Always a safe bet. Whew, what else in the foundation for Taurus? What else? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Dancing in the sun. Here comes the sun. <laughs> oh, Taurus. Taurus, you're celebrating this victory, this win. And um, so am I. I mean, I'm a Taurus sun. So please, God, please, please bring in, especially this. Just show me the money, please. Because uh, it's been tough. It's been scary. It's been very, very frightening. But now that we're coming together and putting our heads together and really hearing to understand rather than to, than to reply, the sky's the limit now. The sky's the limit now. But look at you dancing, dancing in the sun. I'm hearing dancing in the moonlight. One of my favorite songs. Oh, Ten of Swords. God, 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 this foundation. You've been shake, rattled, and rolled here. You have been absolutely pushed to change things up, to let go of those dreams, to uh, really slay the demons. You've been forced to open those closets, clean the closets out. You've been in cleaning mode. You've been really, really, you can't have any messy closets right now. You can't have any messy drawers right now. You have to really, really cleanse all this toxicity that's been eating eating away at your happiness, eating away at your joy here. It's time to kick them out. It's just really, really time to turn around and walk away, walk away. We all come to times in our lives, especially as we age, where um, it's so easy. It's so easy to say no and to, to walk away from the toxicity. It's really, really easy. So much easier than you think it is. And that's when your creative juices really start flowing. When you start making big decisions like this, when you start putting down boundaries and you start saying, um, I don't deserve that. I don't deserve to be treated this way. I don't deserve this. And you just, it just laying down those magical boundaries. Uh, people will treat us the way that we uh, expect. So yeah, you treat, you started treating people accordingly. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gained a lot of respect, Taurus. A lot of respect has been gained here. 
seven of swords and it came out in reverse the broken contracts the sneakery the getting away with something people getting away with something somebody somebody in your life thought they got away with something somebody thought that they were going to get one over on you i don't know if they were jealous of you there's a lot of taurus haters even on my taurus videos i put up videos aries through pisces you know every day there's always five or six thumbs down on my taurus <laughs> always so many Taurus haters. I don't know. Don't hate us because you ain't us is what I'd like to say to all the other signs <laughs> because we have been the leaders of this new age, of this bringing in the age of Aquarius here. But somebody thought they got away with something. Karma is working here. Karma is working beautifully, beautifully here. We don't always get to see the outcome of that. But somebody thought they got away with something. They, they got one over on you. Maybe you always knew it. Maybe you just didn't say anything because you are a beautiful, beautiful Taurus. And that's what we do. Sometimes we don't have to reveal everyone's secrets here. Uh, but this is coming to light now. This, this um, secret, this uh, lie, it was a lie. It's coming to light. And you are proven to be the noble, respected uh, person that you are, and you're still standing with your dignity and your pride. So I'm really, really proud of you for that. You didn't waver. You didn't waver under the pressure. So beautiful, beautiful. All right, Taurus, I think I will end it here. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, Taurus. It helps my algorithms. And maybe if you could give me a thumbs up, it might counterweigh all those thumbs downs that I get on the Taurus videos. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Taurus, I'm sending you all my love and light, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.